What is going on everybody? David Productions, 345 here. Yes, this is still the same day that I filmed the 10 more things that I hate about my dad Charger RT all wheel drive. This video is gonna be 10 more things I love about my 2013 Dodge Charger RT Max all wheel drive. So without further ado guys, I hate long intros. Let's get right into this video. Yes, this is filmed in the same place I filmed the last video. It is what it is guys. I wanna make sure I'm pumping these videos out for you guys. No, this is not for me. I did not spill all over here. I hope not. Now we're good. Anyways, this is my 2013 Dodge Charger RT Max all wheel drive. We're gonna do a little walk around of it real quick. If you guys are new to the channel, this is the car I've been daily driving since August of 2021. Don't mind the bird shit. Bird just shit on the car. This car is awesome. I love this car. A couple things I don't like about this car. If you guys wanna check the video out, make sure to check it out. But here it is. Let's light up the taillights for you guys. Forgot to do that in the last video. You guys want to know what the 11 to 14s look like this is like a strip on the outside tinted middle also if you guys want to check out my mods video make sure to check that out as well on all, all my modifications on my 2013 dodge charger rt max all wheel drive make sure to check that out in this video i'm going to be talking to you guys about the 10 more things i love about my 2013 dodge charger rt max all wheel drive so without further ado guys let's get right into this video so the first thing that i love about this car guys is actually going to be the fact that this is a red on red car what does that mean exactly that means outside of the car is red and you guys don't get what i mean the inside is red as well get the lobster interior in here got the red door panels i love that car i love that color look at the outside red on red i love it even the back seats are red lobster they're dirty because of the tires are back here man i love this lobster interior that's the reason why i got this specific car there's actually a different car that I was going to get inside of this that was black on black. It was same price. Only difference is that it was stock. Didn't have a tune. Did not have the taser or anything. Anyways, didn't have the taser. Didn't have the Diablo tune. And it was basically a stock car, clean title, blah, 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 whatever. A lot of people were like, you should have gotten that one. And so I'm like, no, dude, I love this red. This red and red is awesome. That's one of the reasons why I bought this car specifically. I know it's not a clean title, it's a Reboot Savage title, whatever, I don't really care. Red and red, man, look at this, this is beautiful. If it was more of that color red, that'd be kind of cool. But I like the lobster color because it's different than this red. This red is red then tricot pearl, and this I'm just going to call it lobster because I don't know the exact name of it, or ruby. I don't know, man. So, red and red, it's the first reason why I love this car. Beautiful colors, especially with the bird poop on it, looks amazing, man. <laughs> Alrighty guys, let's move on to number two. Alrighty guys, the second reason I love this car is because it's practical having a four-door muscle car. So the reason is because, say for example, you guys have friends. Well, hopefully you guys have friends. If not, go on, get some friends, especially if you like cars, go to car meets, make more friends. Anyways, it's practical having a four-door because if you guys want to haul stuff or if you guys have a ton of friends, you can throw them in the back. Basically, this car holds five people. It's a sedan. It's pretty spacious interior right here. So it's practical having a four-door with a big trunk versus a Challenger. So let me open up this trunk for you guys real quick. Look at all this space in here. You can haul so much stuff. I fit a tire and rim back here before. I have my toolkit in the corner. Um, there's so much room. Goes back to there. Hopefully you guys can see that on the camera. Ton of room in this car. Ton of room. Let's go to the front and show you guys that. The passenger has a ton of room as well. Don't mind all the filming stuff. Guys, this is just a big car. Like, there's nothing really else to say. This is a boat. I love her, but she's a boat, for sure. There's just so much room in here, man. Like, take a look. So much room. So, it's practical to have a four-door, especially if you're on my age, 22 years old. If I ever need to carry anything bigger, like, for example, me and Dom actually put a door in his car. I throw the picture up on the screen right now. Funny enough, it fit in this car, so... If it was a Challenger, there's no way it would fit. Just the fact it has a big trunk, big back seat space. You can fold the back seats down, have even more room. Front seat can go up and down. It's just so much room in this car, guys. And it's very practical to have a V8 in a muscle car, in a sedan. Because you can get the best of both worlds. You can have your fun. And you can also haul people around. Also guys, it's funny because these cars are very similar way to the Challenger and that's only a coupe. I know it's more of a muscle car, but a lot of people like the Chargers better. 
Comment down below if you guys like the Chargers or Challengers better. Me personally, for the 11 to 14 years, I like the Chargers better. For the 15 plus years, definitely more of a fan of the Challengers because the, the new Chargers kind of look less aggressive, let's just say that. But I love this car and that's one of the other reasons why I like it. It's very practical owning a V8 sedan. Especially in 2024 when they're discontinuing the V8s and these Hemis. So if you guys are looking for, to get a Charger, get them soon, get them now, whatever. I don't like EVs personally. I'm an ICE internal combustion engine guy, so make sure to get your V8 sedan. Also, if you guys want to justify it to your significant other why you want to get this four-door sedan, just tell her or him, it's a four-door. You can haul the kids in the back, we can do whatever, and hopefully they'll agree with you because yes, this car is very practical. You can put a car seat in the back. Number three, it's a V8. Let me pop the hood for you guys to show you guys what I mean. No, this is not an up edge. Pop the hood for real. Hood popped. You guys see 345 had me right here. Damn, bird, shut up. It's a V8. It's a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with 370, I almost said 375. It has 370 horsepower from factory and 395 foot pounds of torque. This one is Diablo tuned and it has an exhaust system and a Hellcat airbox. So I'm guessing, don't quote me, this car is making about 360 or 370 to the wheels. Stock, these cars make about 330 to the wheels. So probably like 360, 370, I don't know the exact number. But it's a V8, so you guys know. I love V8s. Ever since getting this car almost three years ago, I've been daily driving this car, and I just love the sound, man. And that is probably why my gas mileage is hella low. It's like 11 almost. Huh? Some more people can get like 16, 17, 18, 19. I drive this car like I stole it some days. I've been better. I know guys should not be driving like that all the time. I mostly only drive like that when I'm filming. But anyways, love the sound. So let me give you guys kind of a warm start. And then we'll include some pulls, like some videos of me doing pulls with this car. Oh yeah. But you guys can hear the idle is pretty quiet. This is basically a Corsa catback exhaust. I did not get that on the camera actually. You guys look, it says Corsa. Corsa quad tip catback. Also you can shut it off with a remote start. It's really cool having a remote start. It's my first car with a remote start and it's awesome in the winter. Only problem is if you have a check engine light, you won't be able to start it. And unfortunately, especially when it gets cold, that sucks. We do not care. Alrighty guys, number four is luxury features. So this car is fully loaded. It has all the options except for the paddle shifters. The S and C on the mirrors, heated mirrors, blind spot alert. These go down in reverse. Seats, heated cooled seats, front seats, heated cooled cup holders right here. Heated rear seats. Um, what else we got? We got the parking sensors right here, all across the back. It's cool the 300s have those on the front as well. So it's cool the Chargers have these on the back. And what else do we got? Tons of stuff. We got rain sensing wipers up here. One of the most annoying things that I don't like, but also it's a cool feature. If it works, is the adaptive cruise module right here. This cover keeps coming off. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. It has that. It has regular cruise control. Auto high beams. It has a sunroof right here. Red interior. It has memory seats right here. The steering wheel right here can be adjusted with power by this. All these adjustments. You can also move the pedals forward and backwards with that the seat has all this adjustment right here as well lumbar right there dual climate control rear view mirror underneath my dash cam is auto dimming so that's also cool as well i already mentioned the heated mirrors the folding down and reverse mirrors it has a cool light in the glove box so you guys can see your documents at night <laughs> when you get pulled over <laughs> boy if you don't uh the cluster is pretty cool the screen it's fully loaded so let me start this again for you guys 
This is a swapped cluster in from a 15 or 16 pursuit. Anyways, it has Bluetooth on the radio. Uh, let's see. It has navigation right here. You guys can see dual zone climate control. Heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheels, sport mode. Has all of that here. Uh, some of it's added with a taser. The sport mode is added with a taser. But the heated steering wheel is really awesome in the winter. The heated seats are awesome in the winter. The vented seats in the summer are awesome, especially when my car doesn't have AC because the dual zone climate control does not work very well, but it has it. Doesn't have the paddles. Unfortunately, I wish it did because I love paddle shifters. I wanted a car with them. If I found a wheel with them, I would have obviously grabbed them. But even the cluster for this year was pretty good. Not this one, this was a swapped one in, but the cluster was interesting as well. Because it got the taser, you guys could see the SRT pages and sport mode button right there. You guys would see all these cool pages. There's, this is my favorite one because when my car was overheating, this was at 250, so obviously having this page was awesome. I mean, obviously it said engine is too hot in the screen, but having it over here showing you guys all the gauges is awesome as well. It's the horsepower page. You guys see horsepower torque oil pressure going up as well all right guys number five being the fact that the 5.7 platform has been around well in this case for a few years this came out in 2006 but the 5.7 platform is widely accessible and available a lot of people modding find these cars so it's very easy to find mods for these cars because a lot of people have already done them so it's a ton of forums a ton of write-ups a ton of facebook groups it's awesome to see that the 5.7 platform is widely available. A lot of people have it in their cars. A lot of people are doing stuff to it. A lot of people have problems with it as well. So if you guys have any problems or questions, look it up in a forum, Facebook group, whatever. Make sure to join a Facebook group, guys. It's very convenient, especially for me. I've learned a lot about this car just because I've been in that Facebook group. So it's awesome to me that this engine has a lot of support. That's basically what I'm saying. 5.7 Hemi, tons of support, tons of write-ups, tons of documents tons of manuals and how to fix it, stuff like that. So it's awesome to me that that's available for this car because not all cars have a ton of information about them. And a lot of people have 5.7 Hemi. So, so number six guys is the fact that I don't see that many 11 to 14 chargers. And that's awesome because I hate having a car and seeing it everywhere I go. I like having this car because not many people have this car. There's I think one or two cars in my area that look similar and not even at all anymore because Got the black grill, got the hood, got the sideways sticker right there. Uh, got the dirty car always. Now people know it's me, they see the VLAN headlights, they see the diamond fender, they see the bird poop. They see <laughs> Stop it, get some hell. They see the wheels, they see the ring guards, rear window spoiler, the spoiler, black tail lights. Guys, I just like the fact that not many cars are around like this, so I can have more of a unique car whenever Whenever my friends see a charger, most likely it's me if they see the wheels and front bumper and such. If you're a car person, you'll definitely notice that more. If you're just a regular Joe and know too much about cars, you might say this car looks exactly like a V6 Charger or a V6 Challenger. And then I'll probably get very sad and annoyed. But anyways, I'm straight off from the point. I like having a unique car. I like having a car that not everybody has. I know obviously the 11 to 14s in your city might be different, but in my city, my area, not many people have them. And the ones that do, it's awesome to have friends that have the same car as you or similar cars. It's just cool to have other people in the videos, guys. So, alright, guys, number seven is actually going to be the fact that this car is fast when you need it to be. I'm not saying this car is fast. I'm just saying when you need the power, it is there for you. It's not Hellcat. It's not Scat Pack. It's not SRT392. It's not SRT8. It's not 61. But this car is not slow. But as I mentioned before in my last video or however many videos ago, this car is not fast. So if you guys are hoping to get a really, really, really fast car, this is not it. But this is a step towards that. You can make it fast for yourself. You can modify it by saving money and not buying a Hellcat already or whatever. So if you guys are trying to merge into a highway or switch lanes, definitely just hit the gas a little bit. You'll definitely get there for sure. Like you're basically faster than most other people on the road. Not all of them. But the fact is it's still a V8, guys. It still has... 370 horsepower most cars nowadays it's crazy to me actually they have about like 250 to 300 like the honda accord sports 250 with a 2.0 turbos but guys it's just most cars don't have that much horsepower so obviously 
you'll be faster than most other cars on the road. Number eight, guys, actually is going to be the fact that you can work on this car at home. So if you guys had not seen my video, I actually fixed my CV axle seal on this side. And they also did the differential fluid for the front on this side as well. So if you guys had not seen that video, I can't talk today, man. If you guys had not seen that video, make sure to check it out. But the fact is, you can work on these cars at home. I did my spark plugs at home. I did my bumper replacement at home, headlight replacement. We built the whole front end at home. I used a tree, a winch as my frame puller. I did the fender over here. Did the whole front suspension on this side at home. Put the side skirts back on. You can do a lot of stuff, guys. New hood was on. New front bumper assembly, radiator support. All that was done at home. I just did the differential fluid in the front at home. Probably going to knock out the rear one soon. But it's just really cool to me that you can work on these cars at home without having... I said home so many times, man. But the fact is... You don't have to buy too many special parts. There's a couple of random sockets I had to buy, like some external torques. Never used that at all before. Yeah, just most of the stuff, like, it's really cool. Like, the belt assembly, all you, all you need is a 3 8 ratchet to pull off a serpentine belt for the tensioner. I forgot about that. I did that as well. But all the stuff I did, I did it in my driveway. It's really cool to me that you can work on your car at home. <laughs> Guys, yeah, so it's just really important to me, especially when you're buying a car and you know how to work on it. It's really cool to have the ability to go to AutoZone, buy the parts you need, come back home, and work on it. <laughs> so the fact that you can do that, you can buy the parts of AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts or O'Reilly's if there's one by you. It's cool to me because you have a specialty car with like Brembo's, for example, you got to buy specific parts. This car is just the right amount of stuff that you can buy at the AutoZone. AutoZone or Advance or whatever. It's just really cool to me that you can work on your car, learn how to work on your car, and do it in your driveway. I know it's kind of annoying, especially at night. You know, you're reaching around for that 10 millimeter. You dropped in the engine bay like 20 minutes ago. You're getting pissed off. You're like, where the hell is that 10 millimeter at? And it ends up being in your pocket. Yeah, I, I know you've experienced that before, but it's cool to me that you can work on your car yourself and kind of learn how to do it and not have to take it to anywhere. Obviously, the bigger stuff you might have to, but smaller stuff like the serpentine belt radiator fan uh suspension stuff you can definitely knock that out in your driveway it's a jack jack stands all that so it's really awesome to see a car that you can work on yourself Alrighty, guys number nine for this is actually going to be the fact that a lot of these parts are interchangeable meaning that they're from different years so for example the wheel seal i ordered it said 05 or 06 to whatever, just for the all-wheel drive cars. It's really cool to see that they're using the same parts. Stuff like the fenders for the 15 plus, you can actually swap to get a 15 front end on one of these cars. I don't know why you want to do that because this front end looks way better, but you can do that. You can swap the whole radiator support front end stuff to put a new front end on these cars. As I said before, if you kind of do that, it's kind of defeating the purpose of getting this car because you get this car with the aggressive front end Parts are interchangeable. It's awesome to see that, like rims, doors, mirrors. Also, you can do the Hellcat swaps, SCAT swaps, 392 swaps, SRT8 swaps. You can do all that to these cars. Parts will bolt in, whatever. I've mentioned that in a couple of my videos. But it's really cool to me that Dodge has the ability to do that. You guys see all the Hellcat swaps, 300 swaps. That's because Dodge gives us the ability because they're lazy and they didn't change really anything at all to bolt anything anywhere. I really want to get a swap. I really want to do that as my next car. We'll see. All right, guys, finally, number 10 for this list is actually going to be the fact I can put this car in anger mode and have a rear wheel drive without traction control, without anything enabled. If you guys have not seen my anger mode videos, make sure to check them out. Basically, I'm locking this car in rear wheel drive. No traction control, no ABS, no nothing. <clears throat> and it's cool to me that these cars can have that because not all cars can do that. But with this car, if you have the taser, just got to hold the traction button for 10 seconds. You'll see all the lights flash on right here. Kind of like when you turn on the car, it'll look like that, but it'll just say everything's off. And you don't have to worry about it because it's really cool. Because if you guys are buying an all-wheel drive car and kind of worried about, can I still drive in a rear-wheel drive? With the Taser, hell yeah, you can. You can unlock it in rear-wheel drive. You can force it in a rear-wheel drive. You can have it in an anger mode. You can force all-wheel drive. The Taser really unlocks a lot of features. So if you guys have not gotten the taser yet and you have one of these cars definitely grab it for yourself you'll definitely love it cluster swap lock it in rear wheel drive 
Lytros, all that stuff, awesome features. And the fact that my car has that and it came with it and I bought it used is awesome. So if you guys have any questions about the Taser, comment those down below as well. I made a video about the Taser, a video about the SRT pages. So definitely check those videos out as well. Alrighty guys, that was the list of 10 more things I love about this car. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those down below. I wanna hear your guys' opinions about your things you love about your car. I love reading your guys' comments down below. So leave me a comment, even if it's something simple, just say hi and I'll say hi back, whatever. So that's it guys, I don't even know what else to say. This is my 2013 Dodge Charger RT Max all-wheel drive. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe, make sure to turn your notifications on. Share this video with your friends. And without further ado, guys, me and Big Red, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Yeah.